percentage of income might affect demand. I'm quite a big guy, so if I had more income, I'd definitely be eating more chicken. I need my KFC fix, then I just buy the little, like, that meal in the box or the streetwise or whatever. But if I had more income, then I could get the whole bucket and I could just sit the whole bucket. It would be amazing. And, and sometimes we even just buy the chips and share them because we're students. But if we both had more income... If we income, had more income, we would each buy a packet of chips and a bucket. And, and the burger and the bucket and the mash with the gravy. Yeah. From this... We can see that a positive relationship exists between income and the demand for pieces of fried chicken. In economics, fried chicken is therefore classified as a normal good, because demand increases as income increases. In other words, if you can afford more, you'll buy more. This is true for most goods, but as always, there are exceptions. There are some things which you'll actually buy less of if your income increases. These are called inferior goods, and demand for these goods goes down instead of up as income increases. But what is an inferior good? I stopped drinking the cheap wine that I drink every week. 